I've been having a blast recording Series 3 videos for you guys. Hopefully you guys have been enjoying, but we are back here today bringing you guys a Chiyu team with Life Orb Scissor. Yep, you guys heard that correct. Life Orb Scissor on today's team. It doesn't pair up with Chiyu Scissor, but it's going to be a lot of fun to use. Chiyu's over here with Fluttermane and Iron Bundle to be paired up with, and I think those two alone with Chiyu can absolutely shred in today's video. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy today's video, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button. We've been tearing up Series 3, so hopefully th today we can continue our win streak and just keep ripping on the ladder. Scissor is going to be our first Pokemon for today's team preview. Scissor, always a blessing to have on your team. Really good with Bullet Punch. This one has Technician and a Life Orb. Close Combat, Tailwind, and Protect. First time using a Tailwind Scissor, so that could definitely throw off our opponents. I'm excited to get with that. Fluttermane is going to be our second Pokemon. Really can't go wrong with Fluttermane. Protosynthesis, Focus Ash, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dazzling Gleam, Shadow Ball, Moon Blast, Protect. You guys seen it plenty of times, but it's so good, we just have to use it on today's team. We got Iron Hands for our third Pokemon, and everybody loves themselves a good old Iron Hands. Big time with Fake Out, has that Drain Punch, Wild Charge, and Volt Switch, alongside with that Assault Vest as its item. Fourth Pokemon is going to be my little Goldfish. Little uh, Goldfish Snack. Cheesy Snack. We might start calling him Cheesy Snack. Because he's Goldfish. Either Goldfish or Cheesy Snack. Because we got to give a nickname to him. He's got Beats of Ruins, the Safety Goggles as his item. Dark Pulse, Heat Wave, Overheat Protect. Loving this moveset for this guy. Frigoraph is going to be our fifth Pokemon. And Frigoraph is going to be good for two reasons. First reason, obviously just getting in the Trick Room and doing some work. Really good at setting up that Trick Room, no problem. Second reason is Dragonite, or I should say East Speed Dragonite with Shen Pao is all across the ladder, ladder. So having a Pokemon that can counter first turn priority moves with its armor tail ability is going to be huge. This one has Third Spray as its item, Hyper Voice, Psychic, Trick Room, and Protect for its moveset. Final Pokemon on today's team is going to be Iron Bundle. And like I mentioned, pairing it up with the little goldfish over there is going to make it deadly. It has Cork Drive to boost your energy, so it can pretty much outspeed any Pokemon. And then Freeze Dry, Hydro Pump, Icy Wind, and Protect. Guys, you want to rent this team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right-hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Let's grab some wins with this Chiyu and Life Orb Scissor team. First match coming at you guys, and we're going up against a Chiyu team with Golden Go, Amoongus, Fluttermane, War Moon, and Intimidate Water Tauros. How should I play this one? How should I get after it? I really don't need Frigoraph here. I kind of want my Chiyu, and I kind of want my Iron Bundle, so we might want to lead these Pokemon, right? I feel like Iron Bundle and... uh. Chiyu could be really, really good, but yo, I love these nicknames. Nemo and Kowalski. I love that. Everybody knows who Nemo is, but Kowalski is one of the penguins from Penguins of Madagascar. So that name fits perfectly right here. And we got Melman from uh, Madagascar as well. That is hilarious. Casper. And then I don't know what these other two are from. But yo, great nicknames for whoever built this team. Hopefully I can find and get you guys the Pokey Pace. But uh, let's see. Who should we go into here? I think Nemo and Kowalski is the call, right? Really, really powerful. We can counter up on a lot of different Pokemon. So I'm all about it. We can also bring Fluttermane in the back end. And then I'm really liking Bullet Punch Scissor as our fourth and final Pokemon, right? Really good up against that Fluttermane. If we need to do like one damage on certain Pokemon, it can really come up clutch. Plus, we have close combat on that, which will be super effective onto the Roar Moon. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. I'm all bad, but yeah, we've been killing it on the rank ladder for series three so far. I've been grabbing at least winning records or perfect records in all the videos so far. And what day are we on? This is my fourth day, so let's keep it pushing. Let's keep it pushing. No losing days, not allowed happening. The so Mugus and Golden Go is gonna fly out here. Don't mind it, we got Chi on the field. We have Chi on the field, and Heat Wave should be able to rip into somebody. Um, I think I'm just gonna Heat Wave, and I'm also gonna freeze dry into a Mugus. Do I do that? Someone's terrestrializing here. Heat Wave's 100% our call. I could actually just Dark Pulse into you if I want to, but Heat Wave's, heat wave's 100% our call. But I'm going to Heat Wave. I could also Ice Wind for Speed Control, but we don't need it, right? We don't need it, so I might as well double down to Amoogus because a lot of Amoogus have Water Terra. Actually, I think I'd rather just chip up with Icy Wind, right? What do I want to do here? Mm. I think I am going to freeze dry just in case he tears in the water. Let's see how this one plays out here. So, someone's terrestrializing. Who could it be? Who is it? Please be Amoongus in the water. Amoongus in the water. Come on. Oh, my God. I'm too good. Come on, man. That's too easy. That's too easy. That is too easy. Come on, man. That's too easy. That's too easy. So, we're going to be able to get rid of Amoongus here. No problem. Right here, right now. 
That is way too easy. And actually, we might not be able to KO it. I mean, at this point, Icy Wind should be able to KO it, but still, I really... Oh, no. Free Focus Ash. She's going to put me to sleep. He put to sleep. We're not affected by Spore. We got the safety goggles on Chiyu. That is ridiculously huge. That is huge. So now I'm just going to Heat Wave again, and I'm just going to go into an Icy Wind here. Icy Wind KOs Amoongus. Slows down Golden Go. If Golden Go is, for some reason, sashed, we would take it off. But, yo, that is huge. Obviously, they live on a free focus ash, live to a little bit of RNG, but then he goes after my safety goggles shield, which is, oh, love it. Nothing's better than when somebody uses a move like Spore into your safety goggles Pokemon. It's like the best feeling ever. So our boy, Goldfish Cheesy Snack over here, survives. Survives to sleep. And now we're sitting in a beautiful position. Pretty much wasted their ter terrasization. We made a hard read on that. I thought Freeze Drive would KO, but that was a bit bulkier. And he's just going to protect the Moogus, which I don't mind. I don't mind because if both my if my heat wave lands, it's it's see you later Goldio. It is see you later Goldio. So Icy Wind's popping out here, chipping up a tad bit of damage on the Goldio. And the best part about getting rid of Terrasalization is I don't have to worry about it for the rest of the match, right? The Heat Wave land, it does. See you later, Goldio. Get it on out of here. Get it on out of here. Deadly Bird and Goldfish, man. Just absolutely tearing things up. Absolutely tearing things up. And I love the legendary designs in uh in this generation. Chen Pao and Chiyu are like all-time favorites of mine design-wise. I think they're really, really cool. So from here, we are again, we're sitting in such a good spot. Such a good spot because we don't have to worry about terrestrialization. I can now just go into a heat wave and hope that you know it lands and takes out Amoongus. And then we can just pop a nice little freeze right into, into this slot. So Rage Powers can come out here. That kind of sucks. I mean, maybe I should have Ice Wind just in case that. Smart little play. And Tailwind's going to fly. Okay, so he sets up a nice little like, Tailwind. You are faster than me. I could start Icy Winding down. But Free Shy's going to fly here. Take out Amoongus. And we're going to get started to rip here. So I still have Scissor in the back end with Bullet Punch, which is just big time. It's very, very big for us. We still have full HP. We haven't taken a lick of damage yet. Not a, not a lick. And Heat Wave's chipping up some nice damage. Give me the burn. Burn, please, and thank you. Give me the burn. No burn. No burn. They send out their final Pokemon? No, they have one more. No, this is their final. This is their final Pokemon. It's going to be Chiyu. So Chiyu has some speed on him. I could Terrasalize you in the water, which would not be bad. It would not be bad, but uh, I, I think we save our Terrasalization. Maybe potentially for Scissor. So from here, I am just going to throw an Overheat into this slot. I guess I'll go for a freeze right here. I could slow down with Icy Wind. Icy Wind would be able to KO, right? Icy Wind would, but I'd rather play it safe here. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna level in these Pokemon. They do have speed on us with Tailwind. And then I have do I have Fluttermane in the back end? Wacker back's chipping up some nice damage. Dark Pulse is also gonna fly here. We really should be able to soak both. No, we do not. Did a lot of damage. We do have an overheat on its way. Chipping up some lovely damage here. That you does show it is orb. And did we just miss our overheat? Come on, man. That ain't right. That ain't right one bit. All right, so I have Fluttermane. Uh, could Terrasalize you in a straight fairy. We do have Focus Sash. They could double down into me. Uh, da, 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 da. Could go into you, Terrasalize into fire. And also close combat somebody. Or I could set up a Tailwind for later usages. So how fast is Chiyu? Let me see Chiyu's speed. 143. Okay, so. Yeah, I'm gonna go into Scissor here. I might try. I think I Terrasalize set up a Tailwind. I think that's our best bet. Correct? Correct? Is that a, is that a correct statement for me? Because I can protect you. And then Terrasalize and just go into a Tailwind. So how many turns is left in their Tailwind? Is the real question. That is the real question. They got two. Yeah, we gotta set up a Tailwind here. So yeah, I'm gonna Terrasalize. I'm gonna set up a Tailwind. I need a nice, lovely little Tailwind here because my uh, my Fluttermane can legit win this win this match. If it just outspeeds, if we get Tailwind up, my Fluttermane wins this match pretty much, which would be beautiful, which would be lovely. So we end up Terrasalizing in a straight fire. This is why I kind of saved my Terrasalization. Was for my boy right here. Was for my Skizzy, Skizzy. So Protect comes out from our lovely little Goldfish. We like that turn, and we're gonna go from here. The so Throw Chop gonna fly out here. He's probably Heat Waving on top of that, right? Dark Pulse. No way. You double D? 
down in a sizzle? That is blasphemy. That is blasphemy. That is blasphemy. But I, I still think we're pretty we're sitting pretty here. But that's a great play by our opponent. I'll give it to him. I will give it to our opponent. Great play. I'll call it when I say it. But I'm just gonna overheat into you. And I'm just gonna protect you. Because what is your speed? And you have Sash too. What's your speed? 205. Oh, gorgeous. Lovely. Love that speed. Yeah. Just protect you, waste out the last turn, Tailwind. Just protect out the turn. We know Daz and Gleam should be able to it's gonna KO the uh It's gonna KO the Warm Moon, no problem. If it doesn't KO the Chi Yu, we 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 outspeed. It's fine. We should be good here. We should be good here, but yo, what a play by our opponent. I'll give it to him. I'll give my opponent that play. I don't know if they read the protect, but I wouldn't just set up that tail when it was a game set match. <laughs> they double down into my scissor and just rip into it. No problem. The throat chop and the dark pulse. And then the throat or the dark pulse getting more damage considering my special defense was dropped from the Chiyu. From the Chiyu. Now Acrobax comes in here. We blocking it. I don't think they're worrying about the Chiyu, right? I don't think they're worrying about the Chiyu at all. Yep, they double down into my Flutter main. We make a good little double protect. Yeah, you make the good plays last turn, we make the good plays here. Overheat, finally landing. And chipping up some nice damage. Yeah, like I said, Dazzle Gleam should should be able to get this get this all done. Their Tailwind is gone. Now we pop a nice little Dark Pulse. I think we'll just Dark Pulse on you. And then the lovely Dazzle Gleam. Ooh. I thought Dazzle Gleam was super... Oh, he's part fire. Makes sense. Makes sense. So, you know, I'm just going to double down into you. And then just Gleam across the board, right? I think we should be fine. I think we are totally fine here. A little bit of gleam action. Gleam KOs the War Moon, no problem. KOs the War Moon, no problem. I think it KOs the Chi Yu, no problem, too. But we're, we're Dark Pulsing into it again, just in case to get a little bit more damage. But I think we're thriving here. I think it's game, set, match. No Thrasilizations on the field. And we played this one really well. We played this one really well. Kind of sucks that our poor little scissor just went down. And you actually outspeed me. Wow. You're a fast customer right there. Luckily, we had focus hatch just in case, but we end up bringing the Chiyu down to like one HP. We just need to land a dark pulse on this thing, and you actually go first, so you double down into you. And again, like I said, we double down for a reason. That should be game set match. Come on, little goldfish, finish this match off. Actually, Life Orb will just do it. There it is, game set match, no problem. Actually, it was a little bit of a problem. Close one in the end there, but we end up coming out on top. Starting off today's video strong, we're hopping into our second match, and no Legends of Ruin Pokemon on our opponent's team. They got Murkrow, they got Sableye, so two support Pokemon alongside with Iron Hands, Fluttermane, Orangaroo, and last but not least, they are ripping with... What is that Pokemon called? I can't even think of it. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Great Tusk, Great Tusk. So I'm thinking Frigoraph is actually not bad here. Melman over here, the, the free grab, is not too bad here. I mean, the psychic typing is really good. If they want to pop Trick Room, they can pop Trick Room. We can also block Fake Out here. I kind of like it. I can get down with that. So I'm going to go you. I could also go in with Chi Yu, right? Because this thing is special attacking. With nice, lovely hyper voice, dude. I'm liking this. So we're going to bring in the goldfish cheesy snack over here. I want Scissor over here for first turn priority later in the match. And then last but not least, I mean, if they pop Trick Room, that's fine. I mean, I could go in with my Flutter Main. I could also bring my slower Pokemon. But I'm thinking Flutter Main. And the reason being is because if we have that, that fish on the field, we're going to we're gonna want another special attacker. We're going to want another special attacker, especially with Focus Ash. I get down with that. And then I'm really not worried about their Flutter Main if I have my Scissor. I'm with it. I'm with it. So we're 1-0 right now. Absolutely killing it. If we win this match, we guarantee ourselves another lovely winning video today. But I'm going for the perfect. I'm not I'm not just here for winning records. I always try for the perfects. I always try for the perfects. But let's see who we're going to end up bleeding, right? Orangaroo, definitely an option, right? And Orangaroo's bulk. Orangaroo can probably outbulk two shots. I see Iron Hands here as well. Yep, Orangaroo Ar and Iron Hands. And this is exactly why I led the level for No fake outs allowed. They're not allowed. Simply not allowed. So, I mean, I don't mind if they set up Trick Room. I could protect and then cancel Trick Room again. So, what just happened? Okay, so he has Assault Vest. He has Quirk Drive and the Assault Vest. That's a really good combo right there. A really, really good combo. So, from here, I'm just going to pop this. And I'm just going to Dark Pulse into this slot. I'm going to try to just get rid of this thing. I'm going to pop my third spray here as well. The Dark Pulse flying here. We like that turn. Hyper Voice should finish off Orangaroo. So no Trick Room. No Trick Room right off the rip. Orangaroo gets shredded into. 
Let's see what he goes for. Maybe a sword dance here. There's a possibility this thing goes for a sword dance. We pop third spray. I can psychic into that now. I know it has assault vest, so it's gonna be able to soak. And he just goes for a drain punch, which uh, uh, all right, just KOs me. See you later. Bye bye. Gone. Gone. Absolutely ripped in though. <laughs> you get stomped on. Okay, that, that hurts a little bit. That hurts a little bit, but okay. So they didn't we didn't allow him to set up trick him. I could bring you out, but the problem is if I bring you out, you are going to trash slice into grass. Right? That's a little bit of a problem. We don't, we don't like that too much. We don't like that too much. So you know what? I'm just going to bring out Scissor here. So I think Fluttermane might actually come out in their slot. Hmm. What are you doing? It's going to be Fluttermane. I don't want it to be. Let's go. Let's go. So it is Fluttermane. Comes out here. Psychic got to fly into this slot. And then... I could Terrasilize, but I don't think Terrasilize is going to be play. I think we just... I might just protect here, to be honest with you guys. I might just protect because I feel like the Flutter Main might protect. And the Iron Hands might come after the Scissor. Or Flutter Main's just going to Terrasilize. So we'll see how this one plays out here. Yeah, there's Terrasilization coming out from whom? It's got to be Flutter Main, right? Yeah, Flutter Main's going to Terrasilize into what typing? Solid Steel. So now that I got a read on it, we're going to protect this. And... Then we can close combat into it if need be. Because I like the Iron Hands has got to be going after my Scissor, right? Actually, probably my, my Melman, right? Shadow Ball comes in here. Not my Melman. Leave my Melman alone. We're going to hit this thing hard with Psyche. Going for the crit. Going for the crit. We know it's Vested, but still, it's their best bet at some damage. Wow. Wow. That's some big time damage. Oh, that's beautiful. That's a big time turn from us. That's a big time protect from us. Big time protect. Because now. My Melman gets rid of you, no problem. And then I can close combat and get off some big time damage. Potentially KO in the uh, Flutter Minion. So we like that. We end up seeing a withdrawal from the hands. Oh, that was a huge protect. That really, that really put things in our favor. They end up swapping into Merkur, probably protecting Flutter Minion. No, gonna stay in here with Flutter Minion. That's cool with me. We're able to soak and close combat. Can this KO? Please and thank you. Oh, dang. Oh, dang. Great protection from Scissor. We are sitting in the driver's seat now. The driver's seat. The driver's seat. Now he doesn't have his quick drive boost. Oh, baby. We, this game set match. 2-0 for today's video, right? Right? Did we take out two of his Pokemon so far? Psyche's not going to affect that thing. That's totally fine. But Mercury on the back end is a little weird. We took out Fluttermane, Iron Hands, right? We took out two Pokemon. We did, yeah. Yeah, and the Ranguru. I forgot about the Ranger. And yeah, that pretty much sets up a victory for us. So I'm just going to psychic into this slot. And then I guess we'll just start bull punching this thing down. We don't really want it to outspeed us and kind of get after that. But I have Fluttermane in the back end. It's game set match, no problem. So I'm just going to do as much damage as I possibly can. And yo, Scissor's hitting hard with that life orb. He's hitting hard. A little bit too hard. And that's why I bull punch right there. Because I knew Murkrow outsped me. And he was going to KO me with a foul play. So we do that. My boy Frigoraph over here. Or my girl. Whichever t gender it is. Takes out Iron Hands. And yeah. Come on, man. That's too easy. Come on, man. That's too easy. It's too easy. Wise words for Lebr LeBron James, ladies and gentlemen. Come on, man. That's too easy. My favorite quote. <laughs> but now we just hyper voice. We're going to be able to pop a nice little move by us. But our opponent's going to cancel the battle. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. A winning record for today's video. Let's go hop into our third. Look for a perfect record. Final match coming at you guys, and I'm feeling good. I've been playing insane in Series 3. We are 10-4 on the rank ladder. Looking to go 11-4 here. Going up against Chiyu and Shen Pao. And the Dragon Knight combo, right? So, we do have our Armor Tail for Graph to counter the Dragon Knight and Shen Pao. So, I kind of want to lead that, right? Just to, just to get that off the field. If they want to lead Shen Pao and... And what's it called? And the... Dragonite. I just feel like that is the play. I could also go into a Pokemon like you, which I really, really like, right? I really do like this. So I'm going to actually lead this right off the rip. I could also protect them and pop trick them because they are very, very fast. So I'm going to go in with these two again. I just really, really like that. And then I also really like just having Sizzle here. Sizzle is going to be super effective onto the uh, the Flutter Mate and the Shen Pao. And then first turn priority is just amazing. So having that is going to be big time for us. So I'm going to go into them too. And then last but not least, Deli Deli Bird. Or a little bit of flutz action. Looking at his team. 
I'm taking Deli Deli Bird, right? I'm taking Deli Deli Bird. The speed's gonna be great. The first one priority is not too good. That's why I really like the Focus Ash, but we do have the Armor Tail, right? We do have Armor Tail. I think Sash is just gonna be a little bit better for us. I like Deli Bird here more, but having the Focus Ash is going to be too big for us, especially as a back end Pokemon, where I have to bring fun. I mean, right? There's been countless times, probably for you guys too, but for me, where I win or lose a battle due to a Focus Ash, right? Having that Focus Ash, especially in the back end, keeps you from being one shot and gets you a guaranteed turn. So it's absolutely amazing. It's absolutely amazing. But they end up going into Talon Flame alongside Glamora. And I could pop Trick Room here. I might just save it. Uh, I think from here, it's just a simple Hyper Voice or even a Psychic just to get rid of Glamora and stop that thing from Mortal spinning on me. But it's still probably going to do that. And maybe just pop a nice little Dark Pulse here. I mean, they are going to poison us. That's no big deal. I'll try to pop a trick room next turn if I can. So he ends up tailwind. Yeah, he's going to mortal spin me. And I think we pick up some big time damage here. Earth power. Oh, you're going to EP me. Okay. Good feel. I feel you. No mortal spin. I actually like that. Dark Pulse is going to fly. Rip up some big time damage in that. And Psychic is also going to fly here. And Psychic should care the go more, right? That does not. Wow. Brings down the red. And then I think from here, we just pop a trick room. And we just protect the Chiyu. Now that their Tailwind's here, we can pop the Trick Room, try to take some Speed Control, and then go from there. Because if we can pop the Trick Room, we can pretty much lock up this battle. Because then I can Hyper Voice, pop Throat Spray, pick up the KOs. I can also swap Chiyu if I want to. But I like having just Chiyu in here for Frigoraph to just tee off with that Throat Spray, right? As you guys seen in the last battle, once I popped that Throat Spray, it was doing insane damage. Even onto Assault Vested uh, Iron Hands. So we end up protecting, blocking a Brave Bird. That's big time. And then are you Mortal Spinning here? I feel like you have to. I feel like you have to. We should go for a sludge bomb. That's totally fine. Frigograph's able to soak. No poison comes out there. And now we pop the trick room. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Dope, dope, dope. Dope, dope, dope. Dope, dope, dope. So Hyper Voice now flies. We pop Throat Spray. And then we just uh, double down right into this slot with a with the Dark Pulse. Just in case the Hyper Voice does a KO. But it definitely is going to KO. So, yes, sir. Let's get it. Sitting in a good spot for a perfect record right now. Sitting in a great spot. So they got three turns left in Tailwind, right? And we got five turns left in Trick Room. So three turns left of us guaranteeing us pretty much full speed. And we can't take first turn priority moves. So I kind of want to try to keep my Frigograph alive, right? I kind of just want to try to keep my Frigograph alive at this point. So if I had to guess, they have to have like Shen Pao in the back end. If not, it's going to be the Chi Yu set, which I don't mind. I'm thinking they have Shen Pao back there. But we pick up the double kill, no problem with Hyper Voice. Throat Spray is now popping. I can send it again next turn, but yo, hot <laughs> start from us. They popped that tail in right in the free rare space, which was kind of a dumb play, right? I mean, Talon Flame already had speed on us. Um, I think what's called did as well. I think Lamora was already faster than us as well. So popping that tail in, there was really no point of it. It was kind of just put him in a bad position because we were able to just set up Trick Room and just roll out the battle <laughs> from there. I love it. I love it. Let's see what our opponent's doing. Let's see. Yo, look at look at Goldfish's little fin flapping around. <laughs> His little right fin. Kind of funny. Just whipping it around. <laughs> I love this Pokemon. But yeah, Shen Pao comes out here. We got first turn priority on lock, and it's going to be Dragonite, right? It's going to be Dragonite. And uh, from here, I feel like we just protect. I think like we just protect this thing, right? And the reason I want to do that, actually, I don't have to, right? Hyper Voice and Heat Wave should kind of clutch up here but I'm, I'm actually just gonna protect and the reason i want to protect is because i just want to heat wave first and foremost to take off that multi-scale right i want to get rid of multi-scale right off the rip so melman can do as much damage as he possibly can we're gonna go from there we're gonna protect him keep the armor tail on the field because i cannot really afford to take the first turn priorities right First turn priorities can do me so dirty here. That could be like one of the reasons we lose. But he ends up terrestrializing in a straight flying. I don't mind that. I don't mind that at all. I do not mind that at all. So you should go first here after I protect. And we should say bye bye to Shen Pao, but I think Shen Pao Sash, correct? We're missing somebody. Who do we miss? Who dodged that? Come on, man. I, that's all I wanted to do was take off the, fo the, uh, the multi scale. That's all I wanted to do. I wasn't too worried about the Shen Pao. I wasn't really too worried about the Shen Pao. I just wanted to take off the Focus Ash. But I could bring out, out Scissor here. 
I could bring out Scissor for first turn priority because I can use first turn priority moves. Our opponent cannot use first turn priority moves. Okay, so now we're chilling here. Free Graph should be fastest for rest of the match, which is really, really good. And I'm thinking it's going into you, right? That is what I'm thinking. I could, uh... I could swap for Rigoraf here. How many turns left in this? We have two. Is their talent still going? Oh no, their talent's gone. Trickrim's just our friend. Trickrim is just our friend here. So yeah, I'm gonna hyper voice here. Shen Pao might protect, which kind of which could suck. And I'm gonna take off multi-scale. That's exactly what I'm doing. Yep, there's the Shen Pao protect. So very smart protect from him. How much damage can we do to this? To this Dragonite here. So Dragonite's looking to get rid of Frigoraf. But I do like my scissor here. I do like my scissors type. I still have Terra on my other Pokemon as well, which I might not even want to use, right? Hyper Voice Fly Syria and Hyper Voice chipping up some nice damage. Terra Blast coming out here. You are getting rid of my Furigraph, no problem. So Furigraph drops out here. Um, we just bullet punch the Shen Pao, right? And yeah, I think this match is on lock. Yeah, this match is wrapped up. Wrap it up. Wrap it up. This match is over with. This match is over with. We got that first time priority, take out the Shen Pao. Um, we still have Trick Room, so we're going to be fastest with my first time priority move. And then I think I just Moon Blast you. Moon Blast, Bullet Punch, Game Set Match. It ain't no problem. It ain't no problem. Perfect record for you guys. And I'll show you guys my uh, my record after this. We should be 11 and 4. But I've been going up slowly. Like, my rank hasn't been, like, gradually, like, increasing. I'm only, like, top 1,500 right now. That's not with this win right here. But this is a lock. This is a lock right here. We're not even going to use our terrestrialization because I do not want to. Because E speeds, we dodge. Sucker punches, it's fine. But our bullet punch should come out here before any E speeds or sucker punches if they opt to use it. I think his best bet would be double protect and Shen Pao, right? That would be the best bet. And he does not opt to do that. So bullet punch comes in here, takes out the Shen Pao, no problem. I love this team. This team is a lot of fun to use. Definitely a lot of fun. Scissor came in clutch. And now it's a 2v1 with a Pokemon that has no double hitting moves on it. The Terra Blast 5 Syria probably going after the Fluttermane, right? I know, you're going to opt to go after the Scissor, and Scissor's able to soak, which is good. And it don't, it don't really matter. Moon Blast comes out here. Game, set, match. We had the Focus Ash for that anyway. And there it is. 3-0, perfect record. Absolutely dominated and continued our tear for Series 3. Like I said, ladies and gentlemen, been absolutely killing it on the rank ladder, but I feel like our rank hasn't been shown for that. We are 1,219, but we are 11 and 4. Like I said, dominating, absolutely dominating. And I feel like our rank is so low compared to our record is because I only play three battles a day. And then by the time I record again, it's been 24 hours. My rank dropped significantly because I haven't been online and people are just passing me. So that kind of makes sense. If I want to get top, like if, if I play these games straight, through like 15 in a row like that i feel like i would be top 500 no problem right but it makes a lot of sense that my rank drops a good bit while i'm offline and then when i come back i kind of just make up for what i lost but guys there's that record right there let me go back to the rent teams real quick showcase that team show a nice little picture if you guys want to rent that team rent the code is at the top right hand corner but again i absolutely love this team very very fun you had a lot of first turn priority pokemon and for rigor Ramp, is actually insane in series three protects you from all the first turn priority priority moves sets up the trick room if need be and it just works so well with chiyu getting off that crazy damage after you pop that third spray for that plus one special attack but guys that is gonna be it for today's video if you did enjoy the content don't forget to smash that like button for me and if you're new here click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live seriously you guys rock out make sure you spread the positive day and i'll catch you on the next one peace out everybody